Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Night Sky Newscast. I'm your host, Jaina Alapon, science reporter with the Dale Etheridge Planetarium at the College of Southern Nevada. This week we'll be covering some interesting astronomy news. Hit that subscribe button if you're ready to jump right in. This Thursday, the Psyche mission will finally launch. It was originally scheduled for October 5th, but better late than never, right? Here's a clip from a previous newscast from two months ago telling us what exactly this mission is. This next one is a mission to Psyche, a metal-rich asteroid orbiting the Earth between Mars and Jupiter. It's unique because it appears to be made of nickel and iron, just like the core inside Earth. This mission will give scientists a chance to learn more about the cores of planets and what sort of processes create rocky planets. The Psyche spacecraft will travel six years until it gets to the asteroid. On board will be a technology demonstration called the Deep Space Optical Communications. It will test how lasers can transmit data from distances beyond the moon. It won't actually deliver any Psyche mission data though. Be sure to tune into NASA's live stream to watch it launch. And here we go with the final seconds of launch. Five, four, three, two, one, engine ignition. And lift off. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy and Psyche on a mission to a metal asteroid in deep space to study the building blocks of our planet's inner space. Here's a chance to do some scientific research without needing a degree. The Eclipse Soundscapes project is studying how eclipses affect life on Earth. This project will observe how different animals react to the solar eclipse. The Dale Etheridge Planetarium will soon offer the Global Soundscapes Experience for planetarium visitors and will be loaning soundscape recorders to local classrooms. We will help record soundscape ecology in the Southwest and are looking forward to being a part of this project. We won't have it for this Saturday's eclipse, but stay tuned for more details on how to get involved for the total solar eclipse in April. On September 27th, astronaut Frank Rubio came back to Earth after being in space for 371 days straight. He broke the record for the longest amount of time in space by a U.S. astronaut. He was only supposed to be on the International Space Station for six months. It all changed when the spacecraft that was supposed to get him was found to have a defect that might have cost him his life on return to Earth. He stated that he's excited to have fresh food, his family, and peace and quiet. I'm sure it'd be the same. If you haven't heard, there's been a lot of federal buzz the past few months about Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena, or UAPs, we better know them as UFOs. NASA has even appointed a director of UAP research. This begs the question of whether aliens might actually be real, and if the U.S. government is confirming that. I'm here with Dr. Andrew Kerr, the Dell Etheridge Planetarium Manager with a PhD in astrophysics. So Dr. Kerr, uh, why now do you believe the U.S. government is focusing on UAPs, UFOs, whatever we want to call them. <laughs> I, I don't think that they are just now focusing. Uh, the, the reality is that NASA, and especially the Department of Defense, they have always uh, examined uh, just all of these reports of UFOs, UAPs, whatever you want to call them. And uh, the, the, the reason that they have done it quietly in the past is because there's a certain amount of you don't want to cause alarm or concern or anything like that. I think recently, however, what we've seen is that there have been so many reports lately and there have been so many people interested and so much bad information out there as well that they are just kind of formalizing a process that they've always had in place and making it a little more transparent for folks to be able to see what's going on. By doing this in a more legitimate way, doing this in a more transparent way, they're seeking to, to head off some of the issues that might come from misinformation, bad actors, people who are trying to actually put things out there that aren't real. The broader scientific community, as always, is remaining skeptical of a lot of these claims that are out there. Um, extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof, and that extraordinary proof just does not exist at this point. Do you personally believe, you know, aliens, there's some sort of life out there? I honestly think that given the size of the universe, that there is no way that there isn't other life out there. Other life has to exist, but probably hasn't. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you, Dr. Kerr. Back to you, Studio Shaina. 
Here are our spookiest planetarium shows lined up for October. On Saturdays only at 3.30 p.m. is Zula Patrol Under the Weather. This is a kid's show about how weather happens while they rescue their loyal pet from the villain Dark Truder. The rest of the shows are available for both Friday and Saturday viewings. At 6 p.m. is Extreme Planets. It's all about exoplanets with crazy conditions. Phantom of the Universe, The Hunt for Dark Matter is our 7 p.m. show and it explores what the mysterious theory is all about and how to possibly prove that dark matter exists. At 8 p.m. is Black Holes. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's one of my favorite shows because it can get intense and dramatic with the descriptions of the equally intense and dramatic phenomenon. Lastly, a new addition to our shows is the planetarium show of the 50th anniversary of Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon, now playing every weekend at 9 p.m. If you missed the premiere, then you don't have to worry. I hope you come out and see some of our shows this month. Lastly, we'd like to leave you with a fun image. Here is a dust devil on Mars spotted by the Perseverance rover on August 30th. Martian dust devils are weaker and generally smaller than Earth tornadoes, but bigger than Earth dust devils. I'm sure you've seen them around in Vegas, I know I have. The dust devil on Mars was estimated to be one mile tall. Scientists study them to better understand the Martian atmosphere. Thank you for watching everyone. Click that like button if you're going to head to the planetarium to catch a show this month. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below too. This is Shaina with Night Sky Newscast and until next time, keep your eyes to the skies and stay curious.